Hey everyone, Matt here from Doctors of Running, and today we're going to do a sub two on the New Balance Fresh Foam X More Trail V2 and talk a little bit about rocker shoes and how they impact you. So, this is their update to one of their trail shoes and their road lines, which we've known very well, the Fresh Foam More series. It's been really good. The last version was awesome. I enjoyed it quite a bit more than previous versions. They think they've gotten the rocker right here, solid sidewalls throughout this area in the, the trail version really durable upper nice outsole it's got a little more durability some vibram grip some vibram outsole and some solid grip here really good for bombing on trails it's been really great in handling even a little bit of rain uh the last couple days so it didn't have any slippage issues not the most aggressive trail shoe but the best one for doing long miles we need an efficient shoe so this again is a maximal stack height shoe this makes me almost makes me feel like hoka shoes are low are low stack that's how thick this shoe is so I don't have the stack height measurements on hand with me, but it's pretty thick underfoot. And the big thing is there is zero flexibility. So when, and because of that, you need a well-beveled heel and a good amount of toe spring, which makes for a overall rocker ride. And what I want to talk about, because we'll have a review of this shoe coming up soon, it's, it's solid. But when you have a shoe that's this high stack height and this rocker, there's not gonna be a lot of things going on at your ankle because there's not a lot of movement here and your ankle and foot. The ankle's gonna move a little bit and you still need some degree of motion, but toe screen kind of takes care of that. And what's gonna happen is when you have a shoe like this, it's gonna require a lot more work up higher from your hip and knee and especially your hip. So people that have very good hip strengths, maybe a little ankle instability, ankle issues, a rocker shoe may do well for you. For those people that really love using their foot and ankle, this may not be very good just because you're going to need to use more of your hip. And if you're not using a very good hip strategy with running, this may not be the best shoe for you, but it is very efficient. It's been a fun shoe and I'm looking forward to get more miles and get a full review out for all of you.